Right, I know you're probably getting sick and tired of this painting, but I'm going to do this last bit and then I will change paintings. So, um, went and got my fish and chips today, went uptown and I took a bag of um, stuff for the charity shop, which I was well pleased about to get shot of that. So I was well happy. And I've got, I thought it was bin day last Friday, but it wasn't. And I really could do with having my bin being emptied because I've got more bags that need to go in. So what I should probably do is be a bit cheeky and um, seeing as I've got no neighbours at the present, I will use their bin and put some stuff in. That might be the one. I'm sure it won't. Oh my. Oh dear. Oh, I've got to, um, I've got to get up more. I phoned up the, um, the hospital at RMI. ENT appointment every time they said tell me which department you want so I told them and then it and then you get through and you'd hear somebody say hello and then it'll it'll end the call and you're like is that them doing it because it's close to going home time and they don't want to bother so then I phoned up the operator of the hospital and I said you know what trouble I'm having and um she too didn't really want to be there and in the end she said right i'll put you through to the secretaries and um so i got through to one of the secretaries but i didn't i got through to an answer machine so i had to leave a message and they want your nhs number well i can't remember my nhs number it's, i can only just remember my flipping national insurance number let alone this 12 or nine digit number so um i told them i don't remember my nhs number but my name's what my name was my telephone number and that i was expecting an appointment and i haven't had one yet and i'm just wondering when it is so we will see but yeah oh dear right so that's four done where am i on now Right, I am going to do those, the first thing I see, and it's one of these dashes, dashing through the hill on a one horse open sleigh, da 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 <laughs> yes, it's not Christmas time, but it's not far off it, she says. Oh, that was sounding click. Well, my box arrived uh, yesterday. I don't know. I don't think I was on yesterday. But my box arrived yesterday with my, um, with my, what's it called? Oh, dear. With my wallpaper paste. Massive thing, because I couldn't be asked to make it up myself, because I haven't got much room. And it's for the wallpaper for my chimney breast. I have the wallpaper. I've gone off the wallpaper, but to be honest, it's going to be better than what it is. So I will just um, put that up. And I haven't got much room. I haven't got a pasting ta table. I know there is one in the um, in the shed, which I might borrow. But to be fair, I probably won't because I should probably do it a about tea as they say which is ass about it and that is back to front and all that way instead of measuring the paper cutting it and leaving it with a bit extra and then um pasting on the the paste onto the paper and then putting the paper up to the wall nah I'm just going to pay, paste the wall a bit a bit at a time and then just I might just, I might roll off the, the pieces of paper and cut those down so they are the right size. But um, to be honest, 
I might just hang it up. Start at the top, obviously, leaving a little bit extra, which then I can cut in with a knife. And, um, and then just let it fall down. And because the walls were being pasted, then I can just flatten it to... I've got one of those... What was it? Not squeegees, but one of those um, thingy jig things. I got it for my... Um, oh God, I'm so descriptive, aren't I? I got it for my... Um, what's it called? That sticky back plastic stuff that you put over things, you know, over tables, cupboards and all that kind of stuff. And it's like a squeegee thing that you sort of push it on and, and stuff. So I've got one of those, so I can always do that to the wall. And adhere the that way but to be fair it won't matter because the state of this house I mean if I so wanted I could have bloody um, nano taped it up I reckon <gasps> it's just gone from there well Oh God, I've still got so much tidying to do. And I've, to be honest, I've lost the will to do it. I really have. What on earth are you? Where did you come from? Gotcha, I think. Mm. Oh dear. Have I been shot? Oh. Oh dear. Oh, I've got to have a shower later. You don't fancy having a shower. It's so much effort. Yeah. Sort out these droner boxes, get the rest of the fabric out, put that into the um, trolley dolly, which is out here, which has already got some fabric in. It's getting a bit heavy, but I'm going to fill it all up because, well, yeah, it's going to be a pain in the ass dragging out the stairs at the office. But at the same point, when it's there, it's there, isn't it? So I shall just suffer and have several stops going up the stairs and um and yeah and start taking a few more bits up there like i've got the chair that i want to take up there i've got a little wooden dining chair really I want that up there um what else um I don't know, there's a lot of other things. Oh dear. Oh, when I went to see my friend the other day, when I came back from the grandchildren, I think it was Sunday, I called in at my friend's and she'd got her scan and cut finally at last. And she went and collected it. And um, she was playing around with it, so we both had a play with it and oh my god it's got me thinking I, I want to get mine out again now I want to use mine but what on earth would I use it for that's the thing I don't know but I'm sure I can think of something I've got vinyl and I've got some roundish blank keyring acrylic keyring discs so i could make something to put on those which i think would be quite fantastic
so I'll probably try and decide what I'm going to put on them and stuff and then I'm going to just do it she says just do it like it's so easy and let me notice this is me again isn't it job number 467 start you know haven't finished off all the other starts that I've done you know started like the needle punching it's like I've done that now <laughs> and I've got all the stuff no why oh god hundreds of balls of wool also it feels like oh dear two large frames Oh, Jesus. It's just ridiculous. It really is. But I have it. So when I feel like going back to it, I can. And I've decided a lot of Christmas by my grandchildren. See, my Christmas money pot is going to be mainly for my grandchildren. Um, and then... Everybody else is going to get made items, and I don't care if they don't like it. It's the thought that counts. And now I've got three grandchildren. It's like... Mm. Oh, my my um, son-in-law, I, um, I get him a decent Christmas present. I get him a nice bottle of scotch. Christmas because that's like for his birthday and Christmas I get combine them I mean his birthday's middle of the middle of the year but I combine it and get him a nice you know a expensive bottle of scotch which he wouldn't necessarily get himself I mean the last uh, one I got the year before last was a really good one and I think I might go for that one again because he really liked that and that was um Hiboki it was a Japanese one and it was quite a bit it was about 80 quid which you think is a lot of money, but then it is a lot of money. But I think he deserves it because he treats my daughter absolutely wonderfully. And, um, and you know, he is so nice and so thoughtful and caring and considerate. And he always thinks about you as well. So, um, you know, he actually is the one that deserves so much extra. Because he is a superb man, young man. He really is. Yes, so, um, yeah. So he'll get a, perhaps a different variety of flavour, but it'll still be a Japanese scotch, I think. Or I might have to have a look and see what other... Because he doesn't drink it all the time. He just drinks it, you know, special occasions and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know. He, um. I think he should have a treat. And it is expensive. And he, and he definitely wouldn't buy himself, I don't think. So, you know, it's. Something nice for him. Oh dear. Oh, I got a letter today from oh, duh. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I got a letter today from the um HMRC saying you've got to fill in your tax return. And I'm thinking but I've done it. I'm not late. I've done it for last year. And now it's it's there saying because we've gone past April, it's there saying that um all the time when you know April the fifth is when they have their tax years. My tax year is um March to March, end of March. So um it's it's different because I changed it. And they seem fine with it, so don't care. Let them do the working out. As long as I've got twelve months worth in it, and I and I say which dates I'm using, 
which is definitely better because then I do that in line with my universal credit, which makes all the difference. It's easier to see on both angles. And then all I have to do is go, go through my universal credit um, payments and what I've listed as my expenses and incoming and just copy all those down. And that's my accounts done, which is a lot easier is it not so um yeah and this one is for next year well this year but it's got to be in by 31st of january next year because they do it all really stupid you know do it all about uh, wrong way around back to front side to side any which way but it's I mean, whoever thought of doing the you know the tax year from April the 5th to April the 6th or whatever it is it's just strange you know. December the 31st to January the 1st would be you would have thought it'd have been better but well at least I can change the date so it's my universal credit date so it's all tallies up So actually, thinking about it, if I've got that, I'm just waiting for this universal credit thing to go through. Um, so come the 29th of April, I'm going to have to fill in my um, my universal credit for we work it in arrears. So it's from uh, 30th or so of March to the. 29th of April or something like that and um, so once I've got that then I'll be able to do my accounts for last year and this year which will be good so that then that's done and dusted I've really got to crack on and oh I don't know they'll get off there Oh, my sinuses. I also want to mention to the um, ENT when they get back in touch with me. everybody working on are they doing it are you, why am i saying it like what's everybody working on are you doing it um are you doing it are you doing anything you know it, good that you really just can't seem to put down or is it something that you you really don't particularly want to finish it but you know you have to Not one of those Tell you what, there are a lot of these ones, and I don't know why I'm doing it again. I'm single placing. Why, oh, why am I single placing? Because I am. Right. It's... I'm liking this one, but the problem is it does get a bit boring to do. I might go back into doing my wheel, but the only problem with that is I do kind of feel ob obligated to do what it says, whereas 
I might go and think, oh God, it's spun and it's got katana and I don't want to do katana. And then I might, I might just end up redoing it again. I suppose I could give myself that option. If I don't like doing it, I don't want to do it, then I won't do it. But then doesn't that defeat the object of doing the spinning of the wheel? That's the thing. I just don't know. Let's see. Should we just have a, have a joke? We're not necessarily going to do it, but we will. Oh, I better just open it up first. Uh, show me ugly mug. Thank you very much. Oh, beauty editions come out of paint, Jim. Mm. Right, so let us see. Tiny decisions. Here we go. What cross? Oh, well, I've done that one. Um, right, OK, so we've had that one. So I need to go to take that off. What DP that is kid? No, what whip should I do today? That's the one. Have I got any that I've got to take off? Yeah, I should take off freaking Katana. Oh, well, here we go. Let's see. Should we have a joke? Let's oh, see what one it is. Oh, God. Well, I could do it, I suppose. Should I do it for the next time? Let me know. Alternatively, this is where I do a whole load in advance and I've got them all, you know, all these ones. I've done a video on each of them and then I'll do this and then I'll go, oh, once this one, okay, and put it out. But then again, I can't do that because I don't edit and I'd have to edit this clip of the wheel and the clip that I've done. No, that ain't going to happen, is it? Oh, well. Oh, God, let's just press again, shall we? Oh, I've gone off uh, paint gems at the minute. Kitty off a new DP. Oh, jeepers. That I can do. But it'll have to wait for a little bit because I have ordered foam inserts off of AliExpress. And what I mean by the foam inserts are, sadly, they haven't got any of these 80 ones. I have had to get the 60 ones, but then if the 60 ones will allow for extra, I suppose, for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, it'll allow that much and that much down there for extra drills in packets. So I've ordered the, the foam inserts because I've got enough bottles because when I do a, a thing, I mean, see, look, these, these can come out, see, and I put them in a tub, but the tub's full for the minute. So these are the ones that I can use for other kittings up you see and then I can fit them in my trays so yes yeah, so um and oh the side of the um I've got a handle looks like that where is it I found the destructions typically didn't I I found the destructions to me in my book to what I've made and these handles I stick over my small paintings I just hang them over perfect so I know where they are yes well so we are cooking on gas to a certain degree yeah I wonder I wonder I wonder Oh, look, missed one. Knickers, as they say, over here across the pond. All right. I think, I don't think anybody apart from me and Mara actually did the mashup, which is a shame. I haven't finished, Mara's finished. So Mara, I think, unless somebody else comes in, Mara is the winner. So I will sort out the prize. Mm. 
Yeah, well deserved. I shall no doubt do it again next April and if anybody wants to join me they can but I probably won't make it an event this time I should probably just say I'm doing the mashup if anybody else wants to join me then they can get off there you go Right, let's just double check up here. That one there. I've gone back to single placing again. Have you noticed that? I don't know why. But at least by getting these, I can now see these, the three dots ones clearly. Because before they kind of like blended. I don't quite know why, but they did. Um. Right, so it's just down here they are. Oh dear. Yeah, I think I might. So I've got to wait till, um, when is it? When the people come round to do the, um, the inspection. And I'm going to ask them about the kitchen. I'm going to ask and say, can that be taken out and put in the shed? Because then they've still got it for the next person. I mean, thing is, though, they're not getting tested, those. And they're provided, so realistically, they should be tested. You know, that they are, you know, working. And if they're not being tested to check they're working, then, um, you know, that's... That's a mistake on their part. might do them better to get it out. Oh. Colours on this painting are absolutely gorgeous. I know, I keep saying it. I've got a, miss, a two and a one and a... I said threes. Did I do threes? One, two, so I'll do those next. I've got a bit sticky from that E6000 plus from when I was doing my um, Craft Wednesday video. I don't know whether I've, I've done one yet of, t of needle punching itself, you know. I know I've done one of the putting on the backs and the felt. But I don't think I've done one of actual, you know, putting the, um, doing the needle punch. So I might just get an embroidery hoop and do that one for next Wednesday. And I'll have to go back and see. And I must, I know I must go and sort out my videos and put them in some semblance of order. Like, you know crafting Wednesdays or and then say Benedict Blues and all that kind of stuff maybe Whip and Waffles and um, storage and kittings up and kitting downs but I'll have to get my laptop out I think and do that
because I think it might be a little bit easier to do it on there. Then I'm not doing it through an app. I've got all the, um, shall we say, all the um, new set appliances, all the Ujima flips. Oh my word, I have been um, really mucking up my words recently. I was watching um, one of those crime ones, um, things on YouTube, and they were talking about um, drug smuggling. Could I say the word drug smuggling? I was there repeating myself halfway through, you know, repeating what I was hearing. And it came out as, um, what was it? Um, smug juggling. I think that was it, smug juggling. And I thought, oh my God, I've been doing that quite a bit recently. <laughs> Creating a new language. Speaking in code. Smug struggling. <laughs> well, oh yeah, that's that one. One, so now we're on to twos, aren't we? <sighs> I really must get up of a of a daytime, of a morning. I haven't been, and it's just ridiculous. is you know if you're in bed a lot of the time during the day then you will fall asleep no wonder my flipping them um, sleep patterns all up the swanee river Sorry, quiet all of a sudden. So I'm lost in thought. I'm trying to decide whether or not to go to, on this trip with the craft group and um, this craft centre, uh, this centre which we go to and we have the craft group at. It's, it's like a community centre and they arrange trips and things like that and they're doing a, a two night, I think, stay in November in Langothen. And a lot of the craft group people are going to be in that trip. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to go or not. I mean, yes, it would be quite nice. But at the same point, I can't do noise. I can't do crowds. You know, I would have to get a, um, a room on my own. So I'd have to single supplement it because there's no way I could, I could share with anybody realistically. Um, because I need my peace and I don't particularly want to have to be, you know, <sighs> I don't mean to sound horrible, but, you know, you um, you converse and you chatty all day and then I want to go back to my room and be quiet, you know, and just unwind and relax and come back from that, all that chatty and all that, you know, energy expelled. And then if I've got a roommate, you don't really get that level of because you know you then end up chatting with them and before you know it you're done in or you're short-tempered and you snap and you and I don't want to do that so I'd have to go for a room on my own but then that's extra but then it would be quite nice but I don't know I really don't know I think on Thursday I'll go and look at the sheet to see. Mm. 
Maybe, maybe. You told me maybe. I think that's the twos. I bet you it won't be. I bet you there'll be another one or two twos that I'll see. Get in. Very nicely spangly, sparkly blues. I mean, I think they've got the right amount of spangly bits, blingy bits to this picture. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm determined to try and finish this. This bit. And then I will start on another one. But obviously not today. I will. I'm trying to think when this will take me up to. Because now I've done Wednesdays. I've got all Wednesdays sorted. And I've got. This one be Thursdays, I think. I'm trying to do like two a day if I can. Oh, well, apparently I've got to do a kitting up, haven't I? Yay! But which one should I kit up? Oh, for God's sakes. Kitting up? I really need to do kit downs, but I haven't got any to kit down. There's no point kitting up when I've got to kit down, when I need to do some. I might have a go at strawberry shortcake again because I've done four hours worth on that and I've determined that I'm only going to allow myself 12 hours on that because then that I could have done that in a day basically and that that is what you know I was going to try and do it in a day but um no my energy levels just I know they just wouldn't allow me to do that so I will do it bit by bit. I might just get all one, two, three, four, five, six, three, and three. And that's a five, two, and three. Oh, my grandson had homework at the weekend. <gasps> oh, the poor sausage. I really felt for him because it begins. Anybody else hate homework? I don't think it's very good. I don't think we should have homework. I think it should be done at school. Some of countries in Europe I think they don't have homework and the children are far more happy and they learn better as well. I mean, the whole education system everywhere needs to be um, updated. I mean, it hasn't been changed in, I don't know how many, hundreds of years, probably. You know, there was a, a clip on um, YouTube that I saw and it was some... Um, bloke and he was um, basically taking the education it, it was a it was a song or rap or whatever he was doing it was um, taking the um, educational system to court and it, it wasn't a real he wasn't doing it really you know but it was just part of this thing and he's there saying how um, you know nothing has changed within 150 years you know at one point there were people you know you were taught using blackboards in a row, sitting in rows, you know, writing on blackboards, and that's still the same. And, you know, and nothing's changed. And back in the day when they basically needed to employ people to do menial jobs, that's all they sort of, you know, taught was sit in rows, do this, do that. And I mean, half the, you know, I mean, in America, I mean, Geography is classic, isn't it? That one's, you know, nobody seems to know where everything is. Anything is. And you just sort of think, gosh, I mean, ours is no better, I don't think, to be fair. But I think education full stop needs to be 
I like, where was it? I think, was it either in, I don't know if it's Japan or it was, uh, Japan for some things are quite nice. I mean, in Asian schools, full stop, I think they do it. And that is that um, they don't have cleaners or anything like that, if, um, if I remember it rightly. Um, the kids basically are, are, do the cleaning. So there's like a rotor or something and, um, you know, they're responsible for their classrooms to be tidy, you know, everything's, you know, properly there, you know, the waste paper bins emptied, the floors scrubbed, you know, swept and mopped and everything, which I think is brilliant. I think that's definitely one, something that we should have here. Can you imagine it though? The kids saying, it's not my bloody job to do it, but boy, help them flip and learn how to look after themselves, you know, and clean up after each other perhaps help out at home and then I think in is it Norway or it might be Japan again I can't remember they have open open um, classrooms where they have um, education that can be in or outside yeah. and their break times are sort of there's no um it's not safe play. Well, it is. I mean, they can have the run of the whole playground type of thing. And there's, you know, things go up, but there's no um, barriers, safety barriers they didn't have. And it's it helps teach them, you know. I mean, there's it's not as if it's a big drop down, you know. But it helped them, um, you know, understand, you know how to be sensible and all that kind of stuff. It's quite interesting. And they just would, you know, go and run around. And that'd be their break. Can't remember it exactly, but it just seemed like, wow. But I definitely like the in and outside teaching. You know. I mean, when I was at school, we did do a little bit of that, I suppose, but only for certain classes. If it was sunny, sometimes the teacher would take us outside and we'd sit in a circle in the grass on the sun. And um, I think we did it for English, for our English lessons. Yeah. And that was so nice. Because it seemed a bit more relaxed and a bit more free and we felt not constricted, you know. But I think in that, that um, I can't remember that Norway country or whatever it was, Norwegian country, they um, the kids could just um, get up and run around during the class and come back and sit back down if they felt a bit, you know, antsy and continued learning. And they did, did learn. So I think it's time that we sort of take stock of what other countries are doing and perhaps, you know, incorporate some of those into the way we do things and don't give children homework because you know then it means they're at school for not you know nine o'clock to three or eight thirty or eight o'clock till whenever to you know eight nine ten eleven twelve they're, they're at school for like six hours then they come home and they've got to do two hours worth of homework before anything else and it's like when do they actually get a chance to play because lots of kids have to come home do a few chores They've got to eat, they've got to fit their, um, you know, their bath in or whatever. And they would like to go and see their friends and actually play with them. Yes, they might see some of them at school, but they're not actually playing with them, are they? It's school related then. And so then you look at it and you think, well, when are they going to have time to do all that? You know, to actually get some playing in. So I definitely think school homework should be scrapped. You know, I mean, if they've got punishment, then that can be done for punishment, can't it? But, um, but you know, I don't think it should be. But, well, do you think that'll ever happen? No, I doubt it. One, two, three, four. Let's try and get this. Do 
it in there. I like these um, nature schools. I think um, I've got a friend, he's got a wood down in, um, down south somewhere. And um, he, um, you know, he has classes and stuff where um, I think children can come and they can um, sit around, you know, in the wood, under the wood, you know, canopies and they've got buildings and stuff which they've made out of like you know woody type things trees and stuff and um and they can just sit and they can have a learning a nature learning sort of thing there i think that's what it is but it's um it's very nice and then people also adults can go there and um learn various things you know how to and it's just basically encouraging people to get outdoors more Take note of nature, be a part of nature, learn about nature. And I think that's I mean if I had a car and I had um like my sewing machines again in shop, I would have perhaps volunteered to go down there and um make reusable bags get people to come and make reusable bags there which then they can then um you know take and use oh, i still could do that i suppose i'd have to get a car though To look into that actually. So I can hire some machines because that's what I did in my shop. I hired, I started off with six machines hired and then I went down to four machines because I didn't have the space in my second shop to um, for too much in there. Um, so I went down to four. So yeah, I mean, even four would be enough because then I can, um, because people don't have to be sewing all the time, they could be, some could be cutting out and the others could be, you know, doing handles and stuff and pinning. Hmm. into that. Oh dear. I don't know whether I could do so that'd be quite nice to do that on a you know on a regular basis to go around the country, you know, getting people to make canvas bags or whatever bags and stuff but um uh, I'd have to claim for me petrol and a bit of me time but if it was like ten pound per class or even £15. 
No, £10 per glass. That's cheap. And even with four machines, if anybody has their own machine, they can bring that. And we can just make loads of bags for them. Um, Oh, yeah, I am doing it right. I thought I was putting it on the percentage and I'm thinking, no, that's wrong. I don't stick them on the percentage. Right. Hmm. I've got a thought festering in my head. And I think I might, I might work on it, that. Hmm. I wonder. Do you know what I might? Right, next week, next Crafting Wednesday, I think I'm going to get my sewing machine out. Do you know what? I haven't got my sewing machine out in since I closed the shop. Well, not closed the shop, since the shop got stolen from me. Because it was always a reminder of what it used to be. And... And I'm going to get my sewing machine out again. And it's going to look at me and go, what the heck are you? Who are you? I have to give it a good old clean out first. And uh, that's what I might do. I might just show people how to do the basic fine tuning of their sewing machine. I used to, um, when I had my shop, I used to take sewing machines in to... Um, to um, service I wouldn't do a you know it's not a proper service if things were really badly broken in there then you know I couldn't do those but I would service it and if say the tension was mucking up and it wouldn't um, you know I would try and mend things as best I could you know mend things if possible but a lot of it was like tension issues and it was just showing people the right way to um, to wind a bobbin or put a bobbin in because sometimes that was all that was different. And that if you get your sewing and your sewing on your top is um, looking horrible, and the stitches are horrible, then it's usually a bobbin, the under, the under one that's caused that. And then if it was horrible underneath, then that usually was the top, the top um, stitching. So um, yeah, it was, it was weird because people used to assume that it was, um, uh, underside meant the bobbin was buggered so they'd go mess around with the bobbin and then of course then it would just get themselves in deeper and it and stuff and i used to charge 12 pound i think for that and i you know sometimes i was i'd take the thing apart and i would you know i'd spend hours on them sometimes you know trying to get it working and of course there was a few in shop which i had when i finished the shop you know left <laughs> left the shop um there was a couple but some had one had been left there for i don't know how long nearly a year was and no matter amount of times that i said you know it's ready for collection it's ready for collection and then nothing happened of it and then um when i left the shop everything got left there and um and um the girl that was there trashed them, met a bin them, took them up. Well, to be honest, I think what she did was she took them home and sold them, to be fair. Allegedly. I will say that. But, um, and then, um, I got into stick from the person who then decided she was going to finally come and pick up her machine. And, um, and the girl in the shop lied and basically said that I had it. And it was like, no, I didn't. Because I did have one that came with me, but that was this girl's, um, the girl in the shops, her naff one. So she swapped it over, her naff one, for the one that, that had been there in a year. So I didn't have her one. I just had the um, girl in the shops naff one, which was broken. And I know for a fact it was hers because, A, I'd seen her use it before. And B, the one that was in there for a year was 
a lot newer and a lot nicer and it worked because I had mended it I would sorted it out and this one was crap and also the model was different this one was a singer and to be honest sorry but singers they used to be good nowadays they are no nah, I wouldn't say they're they're very good at all now so yes so then I got into Stuck for that and it was like no it was left there ready for her to come in and collect it well it's in the past so it's going to be a bit weird me getting out of my sewing machine oh my god it's going to be a bit weird hey I'm going to have to figure out a way of setting it up to film now that's going to be weird what I might do is I might take my sewing machine upstairs and then it's set up because I've got another one of these um, long arm things that I've got my phone in and I can set that up, that long arm thing set up up there for that. And then all I need to do is um, just connect my camera, my phone to the um, thingamajig and then that's all set up ready. That's what I might do. Because there's so many things I can do sewing wise, you know, for crafting. Wednesday. I can make little coin purses, I can make pencil cases, I can make um, little box bags, I can make rag bags, I can make um, cushions, patchwork. Um, diary covers, pin cushions, or sort of various sizes, door stops, scrunchies, elastic fantastic skirts, mainly for kids really. Um, oh god, you name it. I don't really do clothes much because. I'll leave that to the other people. I can't be asked to do clothes. Clothes is too much thinking I have to do for that. You know, you've got to measure, you've got to get the right size, you know, for the person that you're doing. And, oh, God, no, I couldn't be bothered. Leave that for the, for the ones that don't mind doing clothes. Yes. I think what else? Cooking. I suppose I can make flapjacks. And things like that. And buns and... I'd have to sort of, um, I don't know how I'd do that. So that'd be a pretty long one, wouldn't it, really? Unless I learnt how to um, edit. <laughs> uh, no, I'll do the sewing, I think. Do bunting. Oh dear. Actually, I used to do quite a lot of bunting, personalised. And um, I did it very cheap, which was ridiculous. No way it's sustainable. But that's the thing, when you're sort of you start off doing something for your health, your mental health, and then it turns into a business. It, sometimes things don't trans, trans, you know, whatever, 
translate over. One, two, three, four. scrunchies yes maybe I will I'll get out my um sew machine for next for next week's craft that's if anybody's interested in that Golly, this is taking forever it seems oh look Ugh. don't you just hide it when it happens I do love these ones these are absolutely gorgeous drip drills. They really are. Four, five I need. Oh, that's four again. That's five. first started off doing these and I used to chase the colours and then it didn't seem that long before I was like you know I was doing it you know, properly should we say if there is such a way as properly but you know I mean, I still just plonk them down. Yeah. All right. Still, what do you do with all of the paintings that you've done, you know? what you do with them. I mean some of them I'm going to take up to the um to my office and I'm gonna fix picture hooks on the walls <laughs> along the way. I should get those um hanging ones, you know the strips and um the magnet ones when you just get a strip for the top and the bottom. I shall um decorate the side edges. So that's all covered. And then I shall do them. Uh, but I will be stapling the um the thing onto the the Ujima fit flip. Actually that reminds me I must go when I next go up to my son's I must take my staple gun with me with the staples so I can get Don sorted. His um what's it called? The one that I did for him. Justice, League of Justice, pluses. <sighs> oh, I'm feeling so much better after that dinner, after my fish and chips. I was so hungry.
Yeah. Well, maybe my books will arrive tomorrow. I got from um, eBay. Because then I can start reading again. That's if anybody wants me to. I might just make it sort of um, like one day a week that I do that chapter I mean yes people do read real crime don't they a bit of Amy Blyton is not quite real crime well I suppose it can be to some extent real crime I'm not sure that the enchanted whatever tree and the faraway tree and the wishing chair are um there'll be no murders. See the magic faraway tree, I love that because if you don't know, it's about a tree that they climb, they go up and they meet people on the way up, you know, live in who live in the tree. And um but the land at the top changes and so um if they go up further up to the top land it can change and it becomes some other land and they can go and investigate it and stuff which is actually you could think about it and turn it into a bit of a horror story if you wanted because the land changes up there but you you then might not be able to escape it no you can they do and always in time for tea, if I remember rightly. Am I still in shot? Yes, I am. Oh, and the, and the, oh, the wishing chair, that was my favorite. One of the first ones that I read was that one. And that was when they sit in the chair at this old junk shop and it, the chair suddenly sprouts wings on its legs and then up it goes and it takes some um, to um, see the magic far away those places take some I wasn't really a black beauty type of person. Nah. Nora Anne of Green Gables, which seemed to be the rage at one point. Now, have I done all the pluses? I bet I haven't. Nope. No, I haven't. got them all now well oh, I was going to say if I haven't I haven't I don't mind have missing the odd one but when you miss the odd four or five that's a little bit too much isn't it really right so I've got that I'm going to do percentage no I'm not I'm going to do X's I'm going to do lots of kisses. Hey! <coughs> oh 
dear. Oh, crabs, that was um, unexpected. Thank goodness I finished pouring. Could have been a nightmare. Oh. How much? Right, I shall probably do this colour and then I might call it a day. And then I shall finish this off, off, off camera, and then I can put this away for now and get another one out ready to um, finish off might be strawberry shortcake because then i can kit that one down i know it's kitting down rounds but it's still a kitting down isn't it do tomorrow tomorrow I've got to go and get my birds taken I must do that I've put it off long enough that's for sure Yes, it's um, you know, how the quietness you go if you're sort of thinking, and it's crazy what you're thinking about. You're not necessarily thinking about what you're doing, is it? Like what you plan to do. Yeah, get in straight. Hope I am doing X's. Yes, kisses, that's right. Just do another one. ones. This is what annoys me. These are, I don't use putty on on these ABs but yet they're a wash full of flipping putty from where you've tried putting the other ones in. Maybe I should just do the putty ones last but then I'm afraid I'm going to scratch them because Trying to squeeze them into their little Ujima flip. Right, I'm going to do one last one. She says, one last one. I'm going to do this one. Then after this one, I say, oh, I'll just do one last one. Oh, frickadillo. Idiot I am. Idiota. Right. So 
tree. Uh, get in there. Oh, for God's sakes. Four. Five, get in. Oh dear, that one's quite a few. I think that would probably do it in a bit. Oh, I needed one more. Let's... Oh, I can't wait till we've got lighter, you know. The days are longer. And they're sunnier. I can perhaps get out of my office and finish making that Billy bookcase for God's sakes. Ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, look, there's another X as well. Oh, dear. in now singularly because oh dear there we go four oh come on three fours aren't there and then that's a five I think yes oh that's better it's nice when you see it start filling up you know you think wowzers sorry I think my head was all in the way then oh god it's um gosh Seem to pick up three that turn. I thought I picked up more than three. Oh dear. Run out of things to say, haven't I? Yeah, it's definitely time to finish this, isn't it, really? Because I have run out of things to say. Who'd have thought that, eh? Who'd have thunk it? And... Um, there. And then I will continue this off camera, where no doubt I will end up talking to myself. And I'll have so much things... So much things, so much more things to say. Right, oh dear. Righty ho, so on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you in the next one. So please, if you wouldn't mind liking, commenting and subscribing, that would be absolutely splendiferously awesome. And um, I will see you in the next one. Love you all. Tutty bye.